Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. Yes, yes, we are back on the server, and I'm gonna be completely honest, the last video, video did so well in such a short amount of time that, hey, we've got plenty of bases to hopefully look for. Each of these little dots, it's lagging as we are zooming out, but each of these little dots that you may or may not be able to see, like I think there's one there, there's one there, um, they're potential bases. Some of them are just a few chests set up, but some of them, as you might be able to tell, like, look, right here, this is where we are. You can't even see, like, the area on the map. I have to zoom in. That's the area. This right here, this small little dot compared to everything else we just saw, is not only this, but it's, like, a bunch of foundation for a bunch of different things. In case I didn't mention it, and, I mean, you see it in the title and the thumbnail. We are checking out server bases. Um, I'm currently in spectator mode because the, um, the owner of this base, this massive castle, oh, does it say it here? The town mayor's house, okay, he's he's talking himself up a bit, uh, Mr. Chaplin over here. Um, he's currently online, so I don't want to I don't want to bother him. So we're, we're sort of we're sneaking around, okay? We're in spectator mode. We're, we're letting ourselves in, as they say. Um, so as per usual, I I, li I like to leave the big thing to last because I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Um, I've I've peeked inside just to have a quick look, and there is so much room. There is a phenomenal amount of room. It's it's such a beautifully designed base in terms of like, um, yeah, well, in terms of room to do stuff. Oh, this bit at the top looks beautiful as well. What? Oh my God, there's a little wind vane. I didn't even know we had one of these in the pack. Does it actually move? Oh, it actually moves. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, uh, um, yeah, anyway, um, this base, whilst it's not finished, listen, this might be one that we come back to frequently because if this already exists and it's like got stuff inside, check out this. We've got signs around the places and like little areas built out for work in progress builds, right? This right here, a fountain. There's going to be a fountain there to, I'm assuming the same quality as that house. Over here is going to be an ATM star farm. This one is apparently the most like planned out. I, I guess it's going to look a bit like a, a bean. We're also getting, as you might be able to tell, I, I don't know if you can tell, but currently we are frozen. <laughs> you, you know, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. But yes, sometimes we get a, a, a little bit of lag with some random starters in this mod pack. Um, but it's a pretty big one, so uh, please do bear with me. Hopefully, it's not too annoying. Um, but yeah, this one's actually got a shape to it, so possibly, believe it or not, the next one in, in the in the queue here. I, I don't believe it though, because an ATM star farm that that's surely the last thing you do. And over here, we still have stuff like a wizard tower. I mean, come on, like a, a wizard tower. So there's gonna be a wizard tower there, I guess. Um, over here, like they've got little squares zoned out. This is obviously for some uh, lithium or some brine at the very least. In fact, what's this here? Yeah, li lithium. There we go. Some liquid lithium. Um, around the back, we don't currently have anything around here. Oh, but we actually do. We have a little bit of a Gaia spawner here. Um, so that's like um, the, what, the Batania boss or whatever. Um, I pronounce it horribly, but I, I, I apologize. Um, we even have all the way down on the shore, we actually have a builder. Currently not scanning. Now, it's got a trash can. So I'm guessing it's a quarry. Oh yeah, look, it's um for clearing and they're just dumping everything. So they just wanted an area cleared. Soon, the fishing port with mine colony. Huh, very intriguing. Oh, what? There's so much, to, there's so, so much work in progress here. Lady Liberty, with Chaplin's what, what? What is this? Who is this man who has entered my server? And he's like, said it, just absolutely making themselves at home. I'm. I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy to come and check out this stuff later. I'm very intrigued. Um, okay, but I think, I think that's pretty much everything. Unless there's like some stuff over here. I think that's everything. There's obviously uh, maybe some cleared stuff over here. The, the claim goes out quite a bit. So that makes me think that they might have some, some little jobs over there. But, but I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing much. Maybe it's just, you know, keeping the forest preserved. Um, so here is the castle, which we've probably all been waiting for. Um, so we go in the middle, there's a doormat. Oh, oh, be careful. Angry Robert ahead. Oh, there he is. Look at, oh yeah, he's furious. Oh, he's got like rainbow tracks, rainbow treads. Um, okay, so here, is, these are teleporters that go somewhere. Now listen, I don't know if they're to this same quality, but they exist. So we'll, we'll check those out later because I think I might have to go into like um, creative mode and quickly teleport there. Um, but check out this, it's actually, it's not only is it a castle, that looks phenomenal, but it's being lived in. I, I, occasionally we get some beautiful builds, but it's, they're just beautiful builds. I say just beautiful builds, but like, look at this. There's genuinely, there's like automation and stuff. Cold, they've got things labeled. Um, they've got a centrifuge inside the house because I think, believe it or not, there's some bees up top. They've got dented marbles. So that gives it like the, um, 
the skirting around it, as well as um, I think these floorboards are braided as well, which also gives that nice like um, skirting around the base, which I think it does add. It adds just the, that little touch that you might not notice, like obviously, but um, it adds to it. You know, you're not sure what it is, but it, it brings the room together. So this is just like every machine you can apparently think of. We've got like a, a diamond anvil, a salvager, then we go to a memory programmer, a flux controller, a market. There's some sawmills under here's an immersive work, but such a weird combination of uh, blocks. But I, I think they're all like um unique. You know what I mean? Like they don't need to be next to other things. Um, over here we have dissolution chambers, one full of latex, one full of pink slime. Um, a machine infuser. What was this? A die mixer. Some power. Um, where's the power coming from? Is it all coming from this uh, reactor? No, that's not a reactor. That's a reactor. Okay. <laughs> Benefits of of um, spectator mode, I'd say. Um, here's where the lithium is into a rotary condensator. So that turns it from a liquid into a solid. And then I guess that's being used. I'm not sure. Isn't lithium used in like a reactor? Maybe they've got a reactor somewhere. Um, not this type of reactor, which I didn't even notice. Um, but like a... You know, a mechanism reactor is what I was trying to say. Um, okay. So there's some ice that I guess is going into this reactor to cool it down. Although currently it's... Currently it's not really going in. I, I'm not sure if it's currently turned off. But don't really know. Um, what do we have over here? Just, you know, a few mechanism machines. They don't look to be automated, which is very odd. Although... Hold on. Huh. No, yeah. I'm very, I'm very, very confused. Because, like, that stuff's sort of... There's not a lot of obvious automation happening here. I mean... Wow, they've got a bunch of crafters over here. A red crafter? Is that just a dyed crafter? I think it is. I, I'm going to be honest. Didn't know you could do that. That, yeah, okay. I like that little panel of um, all the crafters. That is very unique. They've got a little, um, what's this? A Teru Teru Bozu. Okay, yep, sure, beautiful. <laughs> um, an energizing orb with no energizing rods. Okay. Um, some more crafting, but like bricks. I'm, I'm very, th this is a very confusing base. Because, like, why do they have, <laughs> why do they have a crafter on top of bricks, but not a crafter on top of, you know, the crushing factory and stuff? Very, very odd. Um, over here, some latex production, and look at this. We have a, um, a cover from refined storage. These were added not too long ago. Um, so to make a cover, by the way, because these are relatively new, and you might not know that you could do this with refined storage. I believe it is an iron ingot, and then any type of block. So I can actually search, um, I'll, I'll just do it real quick because it is pretty um, important. But yeah, there's a cover. So an iron ingot, and then you can do any type of block. This shows stone bricks, but you can do, I think, just about any type of block. So for example, the wood that they've got on the floor. That makes a cover. Then to make a hollow cover, you just place that cover back in your crafting table. And then you can place it down. Um, so that stuff's really cool. It, once again, makes it look just that little bit neater. Um, so I very much do like that. Um... You know, a, solidific a solidification chamber and a melting chamber. I haven't even commented on the red concrete pillars that are around this space. I guess, yeah, the, they've got like a bit of a red contrasting theme um, with the... What's this? Void stone. Uh, th that's something else I didn't even... What is void stone? I just assumed it was, you know, some sort of black stone or something. A stand B honeycomb can make void stone. Okay, I guess this makes a bunch of different blocks, doesn't it? Yeah, you've got like limestone, andesite limestone <laughs> from a different mod. Um, and I guess it can be used as, I oh don't know, just as normal honeycomb, I think. Um, all right, where are we? So in the middle here, we have another reactor. This one is from Bigger Reactors. Now, I I actually need to do another video on this because of what you can see right here. Apparently, you can use different blocks as like cooling. And then I don't even know what fluid that is, but it's green. So they've got some sort of green fluid in the reactor with vibra uh, yeah, vibranium blocks as like a cooling block. I I don't know, but that stuff, that concept sounds really cool. I wanna I wanna either reignite my old reactor or make a new one. Probably probably make a new one and, and test out that, that crazy stuff. Um and then we have an induction casing here. So this is just a big multi-block battery. Um well eh, yeah yeah it's it's pretty big. I think it's bigger than my one. Um we have some wireless uh, network transmitters which I guess we can see from here. All um labeled with their signs. Uh, what what did we miss? We missed um the enchanting setup. So a bunch of the pearless and end shelves. We've got what a disenchanter, enchantment apparatus. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're messing around with getting the um, high level enchants as well. Um, what do we have here? A spawner. Okay. Ah, oh, just a neat little, just a little mob grinding facility for I guess when they need to maybe even test out an enchant. You know, like you get sharpness, so you just flick on the mob spawner. 
a little dude spawns there and you, you take a swing at him. Um, over here, a very beautifully designed, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Dratonic setup. Um, oh, look at this. The Flux node has its own name. But like, like they've actually they've done that much that they've named the Flux the Flux point. This one is called Draconic Left, and this one's Draconic Right. <laughs> okay, nice. I guess, yeah, you can keep track of the power, I guess. Okay. Now, there are item pipes, which is very odd. You know what? It, it actually does make sense, because this is like semi-automated, right? What you can do is you grab all the ingredients manually, obviously. You place in your catalyst, then you can just dump the rest of it in the iron chest. You don't need to, like, stress about, um, you know, placing them in manually, which... It might only take a few seconds, but, you know, you know, you save a few seconds. You save a few seconds here and there. Um, over here, we have a gold backpack with a tank on it. A netherite bat. I didn't even know you could do this. This looks really cool. So, I think... Yeah. So, what's that? A centrifugal separator. I'm, I don't even know, but I, I really like that. Honestly, the sophisticated backpacks, extremely cool. I think I'm wearing one at the moment. And it's currently full of food, and it feeds me automatically. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. You can even have it so it feeds you, like, all the Moddy Mapples to give you, like, all the buffs from that. Very cool stuff, I'm, I must say. Um, another, you know, uh, enchanting setup with uh, pedestals for, you know, some things, some things work in here to be upgraded in the enchantment applicator. Some things work in the pedestal, like they don't work in the other one. And then some things work in the anvil, just the vanilla anvil and nothing else. So, there's you, you very much do need all of them. Um... Over here, what do we have? Um, just a bunch of, you know, more machines. There's a very common theme of um, lots of mechanism machines in just different spots that all do the same thing, but they're just in different spots. Um, what I like here, though, and I think I possibly need to, need to start doing it more because, like, look at how nice this looks. The hollow uh, cable covers. It makes this look so much neater because there's not just a hole here. Previously, there'd be a hole here. Or you'd hide the cables, like the exporters. But this sort of... I don't know. It's, it's There's something nice about it. Being able to see the cables, but still not see the hole in the wall. Um, over here, we have a Coke oven. Just getting some creosote oil. I don't know if it's getting creosote oil or cold Coke or a bit of both. Because they're not voiding the creosote oil, which sometimes you do. Um, and then we have an improved blast furnace with some of these um, blast furnace preheaters to just help it work a bit faster. I kind of want to make one of these as well, because, like, this mod, the Immersive Engineering, it has some really cool multi-blocks, as, I mean, as you can see, um, so, yeah. Not sure what's happening with the heat, they don't currently have a chimney going up, so, I don't know, the flooring is probably getting demolished. <laughs> um, oh, and these windows, ha there's so many, there's so much about this base. I don't know if this is going to be a single base review, I, I want to try and get to another base, just, probably a small one, I did see one earlier that was a work in progress, I just want to check out at the end, and maybe we'll check out another little one. Um, just, just so that I can justify having it be checking out bases rather than just checking out a base, which I realized was probably a little bit clickbaity. So I do want to check out a few bases. Um, but yeah, stripped darker grill windows. Now, what's very interesting about these is they appear to be multi-blocked, right? Or not? Because they go together so nicely. I thought these were like three vertical, three blocked um, windows, like you know, three tall windows, but no, they're, they're individual little windows. I imagine they open as well. McCaw's windows have some very nice designs. Um, so I think that's everything here. Now, if we were to take the elevator up, oh, here's, here's the cabling. So just look at this though. What a beautiful house design. This is such a nice base. This little window up here is for the, you know, the area for all the cables. You can run around. There's plenty of room. You can even sprint jump around. That is beautiful. Then we go up here. And this is obviously the top with a nice little bed. Um, do they have a balcony? Sort of. It's just a nice little exit. Oh, my God. The traveling merchants, man. They they cannot help themselves. They cannot help themselves. Um, these things look nice. Spruce stockade fences. We have the... Is this the farmer from... The, so, I think the farmer from the market is currently here. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? It might just be a villager for beekeeping. I think that's what it is, actually. Um, not the market villager. All right, here we have absorption hoppers um, for, I guess, any mutations that take place or anything. We have an apiary, and this is this is it. Honestly, beautiful, nice little apiary. I I, I quite like it. Um, what are these doors? A frame door from frame blocks. <gasps> oh, it's a door, and I imagine you, like, right-click a block on it, like this strip dark oak, and it absorbs it. Or, or you craft it with it or something. That is really neat. Frame door. Frame door. And it's from a mod called Framed Blocks. 
So I imagine each and every block you see here, including the trap doors, the vertical stairs and stuff, can all be applied with any block. Framed drawers? Framed compacting drawers? Oh, that stuff's really cool. Oh. Okay, I want to bookmark one of them at least so I remember. That is really neat. Um, and then over here we have... Is this an Oreo bee? I think that's an Oreo bee. Um, that's, I guess, you know, making some Oreos. Once again, the cable's going into the ground that does not look intrusive at all because of the, the framed covers. Very beautiful. Um, okay, there, there's still more. Over here we have just a little cow pen. Yeah, just a little cow pen up top. Of course, this is very much like a farming area in, in this uh, rooftop here. Um, and then some garden cloches making some wheat, which I imagine is possibly for the um, feeding trough. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, the feeding trough, by the way, uh, auto-feeds the cows um, in the area, which is pretty nice. Um, in the corner here, we have some drawers, currently with nothing in them, but um, yeah. And I think this is a phytogenic insulator. Yeah, nice. Okay, I think, to be honest, that's almost everything, but... Oh yeah, I've got to do those, those teleporters, but also... Look at this. There's a work-in-progress basement. Yeah, I've, I've caught you in the act. This looks really cool. I don't know if this is going to be reactor, 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 reactor or something... But I, I always, I love me a good, uh, a good like attic set, uh, basement setup, sorry, um, because it can look really sci-fi and stuff, um, or it could look not sci-fi. You, you know what I mean? Like it, I don't know. There's something about having like a mansion and then just having like, you know, corridors or like just, just a secret basement to be honest. Okay, next is these. First things first. Can I right-click them in spectator mode? No. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to quickly sneak by. Everyone, play cool, play cool. Okay, we're teleporting into a combat machine. This is, oh my god, let's go back into Spectator. Um, this is a big farm. It's a work in progress farm too. It looks like there's going to be multiple levels. They're using um, XNet to connect all these guys up um, to export them. Iron chest, such a unique base. Very unique. I have i don't think I've ever witnessed a hopper botany setup using XNet because normally they just pipe out of them. <gasps> what? Wait, wait, wait. The cables... Uh, have a facade of a slab on them. This is, oh my, I'm learning so much from this base. Look, the slabs, it makes it look like the cables are like lined within the floor, like grooved into it, or just that they're really flat cables. Such a unique base. I'm very, very surprised by this. Um, so yeah, using not only iron chests for the bottom, because you, realistically, you don't need iron chests because they're just, you know, they're getting emptied anyway, right? By the, um, by the connectors. So they don't, you know, it, it's such a weird thing to have iron chests for this. By the way, if you didn't know, you could place normal chests. And if you shift right click them next to each other, they don't connect. I believe that's the thing that works. In, in case that's why you were using iron chests. Um, yeah, very, very unique. Um, all right, well, there we go. Let's, um, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to have to, once again, be quick. So let's go to the mansion. And then before he sees us, let's go to the miner. See what's happening here. Um, we'll jump back into spectator. Um, so... Wow, okay. What am I looking at? Why does it go... I hold on, hold on. We could probably get away with being in uh, creative mode here. Um, so this is an elevator, which goes... Not up, but it goes down. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> does it go down again? No. Okay. So yeah, there's some screen controllers. There's a builder here with a dimensional chest on top. A bunch of solar panels, which... One of which can't even see the sunlight, but I guess it's fine. Um, <laughs> very, very odd. And then some ice going into a drawer. Okay, so oh, a nice area for a reactor here. That's what this setup is. Um, so the ice and all that's in here that goes into the uh, reactor. Okay, that makes sense. Um, a destructor and a constructor for, I guess, maybe breaking certain blocks that need to be broken. Okay. And then this goes all the way down. I imagine what happened here is this is probably for... Um, Right-clicking the corners of the dimensional card. That would be my best guess because um for the uh, the quarry you have to specify where you want it to dig. So I imagine that's what that was for. Oh, actually, is that it over here? This might be it. This might actually be the uh the dugout quarry. That that makes a lot more sense. Um okay, yeah, beautiful. Um all right, let's um let's go back. Let's quickly go to. I think this is the mansion. <gasps> Um, anyway, <laughs> I think I just scared him <laughs> or scared them. I think that's what just happened. I think that <laughs> I 
keep, I keep doing that accidentally. I keep going to people and scaring them. Look at this. See, this is the type of base that I absolutely love checking out because even in this little machine block, they've gone ahead and given it a roof. They've given it a nice little floor and it looks beautiful. They didn't have to do this because it's just a, you know, it's a block in the wall. It's a, it's a compact machine. They didn't make, need to make it look so beautiful, um, which it does. I'm here. Let me just hope real quick. I'm hoping that I don't have my magnet on. Okay. Magnet off. Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit worried I'd start picking up their stuff, but okay. So they're working on stuff here. Nice. Okay. Oh, th that's a little, um, clearly a mystical, uh, you know, farmer. You place in your, your flowers and bone mills them to grow them tall and then you break them. I like it. You place down the, uh, the petals. Okay. A very beautiful mystical, uh, not mystical, a, a very beautiful botanical area. I, I like it. I genuinely, I, I quite like this area. They're even using some create redstone links. Okay. Interesting. Um, all right. Well, I, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and, uh, creative mode and hop out of here. So that was the, that was the mansion, but it went to Britannia. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and now the mob farm, just nice little mob farm. Once again, didn't have to make this look beautiful, but it is. I cannot wait to come back to this base in the future. <laughs> this base is going to look beautiful. Um, all right. So they've got a zombie farm in here, possibly some other stuff as well. Nice little area. They've got, you know, dark ethereal glass to see in because why wouldn't you want to see in? Uh, I imagine there's a little basement. Here. Oh, for all the, for all the items. You know, it doesn't look bad at all. I like it. What's this? A dimensional chest. Okay. Beautiful. Um, wait, wait. I imagine there's not another floor. Yep. And then there's a roof. That's a scary sound. Um, for the liquid meat and the um, the pink slime for the uh, dissolution chamber. Beautiful. So I don't know if there's a different different mobs in the top part or what. Um, there might be. You know what? There might be set up in such a way that it splits them up. Some zombies here, some zombies up top. So some get mob crushed, some get um, slaughter factory for the meat and stuff and the pink slime. That is very cool. You know what? I think we might be done here. I think that's... Pretty much everything, as far as I'm aware. I cannot wait to come back and see all these other builds. So I, I'm hoping I, I remember to. And and if I forget, and you happen to be watching this video in the future, and you're like, hey, he, he never really got to it, please do let me know to um check it out again. And, you know, we can hop back in and, and have a look, because this is a beautiful base. Is my render distance that low? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't notice. Um, but yeah, I think... No, no, no. I was going to do the outro. That is not it. There is another few bases I wanted to show off. You can actually see a little trail from where I've been checking out. Um, I think it was... I think it was this base here. Zeppo's base. Check out this one. So it's a work in progress, clearly. But I already really like it. So obviously, they're probably going to have like a different staircase up. But have a look at what they're doing here. They've got these mahogany planks and like the mahogany roof. It's actually a very beautiful design. And then they've got like this thick beam in the middle of the mahogany log... But then the um the bit holding it up is like a I don't know what you'd call that uh almost like an upside down I was gonna say tripod I guess quad pod and they've got like another one going here I really I, I'm a fan of it I was upset that it wasn't finished because it looks very beautiful this one's a bit more of a stereotypical treehouse with the massive maho uh, mahogany no eucalyptus yeah the massive rainbow eucalyptus trees uh, let me know a rainbow eucalyptus is that a thing. I live in Australia, which has like um, a lot of eucalyptus trees, but I don't know if I've ever seen a rainbow eucalyptus tree. So, so I don't really know what that is, but um, very... Oh, you know what? I didn't realize these trees actually do... They grow like that. That's actually how these mahogany trees grow. Oh, th that makes it even better. I, you know, I sort of thought like, oh, what a really unique design, but it actually is. It's like a proper tree house. Very cool. I'm very much a fan. I This is another one where I'm hoping that this player happens to still be playing because I, I definitely want to see something like this done. Um, these videos, not only are they awesome for checking out what people get done, but like inspiration because this looks beautiful. This looks absolutely stunning. Like even if you don't have this biome, you could pull this off with different types of trees. Like I'm already thinking dark oak within a dark oak forest. This would work. I reckon this would look very beautiful. And then just chuck in a few like Maybe spruce trees or jungle trees for the, you know, taller tree houses or something. Very, very beautiful. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try and find another base. Not a big one. Uh, I just want to find a small one to, to tie this all up. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we run into. I don't even know if we're going to find something good. Oh, you know what I think it might be? I have a feeling that I've messed something up with my, with my game. I think that 
because the server view distance might be low, I think that it's unloading the chunks. I, I, I think I might be able to fix this for the next time we do this so that I can actually have a big rendered assistance that stays. Like, those should not be disappearing. Like, they shouldn't be unloading. I've currently got, like, um 10 chunks. You know what I mean? Like, very much should not be a thing that's happening, but um, but it is for whatever reason. Um, this was that first little square that I teleported to right here on the map that looked like a little square compared to the, what we were looking at. It is a massive mine colony template. Like this is this is for a mine colony. There's all of these have they've already been planned out. It's a nice area. There's room for streets. I imagine these might just be like houses. Yeah, a big row of houses. They've even got like the Nether portal over there. I don't know where their actual base is. But I am a I am a big fan of this. Um, and this looks like it's gonna be the town hall. No, this is the the builder's hut. Whoa, I've never seen a builder hut of this caliber. Wow, wow, hold on, hold on. Let me go into creative mode. What level is this? Am I able to? I can't open it. You do not have permission to do this in this colony. Um, I need to I need to figure out a way to cheat myself in. All right, you know what? I realized I don't actually know how to do that and I'm scared that I'd break something. So we're just going to have to look at it. But I I had not a clue. I had not a clue. Now, oh, actually, they're actually building. So I don't want to be here. But yeah, we're, we're going to come back here in the future to see what got done. Um, I Because they, they might be wanting to watch it build itself. You know what I mean? So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, teleport away. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin that fun for them. <laughs> we're just going to teleport away. I think that's it though. I Honestly, I think that's probably it. What I might actually do is um, TP back to uh, the base we checked out at the first at, at the first time because it's a beautiful base. We'll do that to to sign off, I guess. Assuming assuming I'm allowed to. All right, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some inspiration. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at it. Thank you to each and every one of the players who uh, have built these bases. Um, thank you to Chaplain uh, Six Four Four because this is a a mega base. This is one of those mega bases you come across every now and then, um, and it's, it's always surreal to me that, like, this base that we are at is just one of the squares. How insane is that? That is phenomenal. That is actually phenomenal. We're, we're lagging because this map is massive, and I guess it's it's struggling a bit. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you're playing on the server and you have a base, it doesn't have to be massive. It doesn't have to be, you know, insane. Um, if it just looks pretty cool, you know, it's a nice little house that you're proud of. Do let me know, um, and I'll try and check them out in the video um, because it's beautiful. It's genuinely beautiful. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to my channel. That helps me out quite a lot. Um, if you like the video, you can give it a like as well. Um, thank you to each and every one of you who have supported me financially. Even you, the viewer, who may have clicked on this video for the first time out of all my videos. Um, if you happen to watch the ad at the start of the video or during the video or at the end of the video, thank you. Thank you for that because that that supports me um, quite a lot in the in the long run. So thank you so much. Um, Thank you to everyone who supported me through donation links and channel memberships. Um, you guys are awesome as well. And yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we're happy to go. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.